Nazywam się Krzysztof Banaś, jestem pracownikiem Wydziału Biologii Uniwersytetu Gdańskiego. Jestem zatrudniony w Katedrze Ekologii Roślin i opiekuję się między innymi hodowlą roślin mięsożernych. W szklarni wydziałowej uprawiamy przede wszystkim rośliny z rodzaju Nepenthes i rodzaju Heliamphora. Jako członek Międzynarodowego Towarzystwa Roślin Mięsożernych zgłosiłem do zarządu propozycję powołania Światowego Dnia Roślin Mięsożernych, ponieważ wydawało mi się, że będzie to dobry dzień do tego, żeby prowadzić edukację wśród młodzieży, edukację dotyczącą roślin, roślin mięsożernych. No i będzie też to dobrym dniem do wymiany doświadczeń pomiędzy hodowcami, a także no, przekazanie tej wiedzy młodym osobom, które dopiero zaczynają zajmować się tym hobby, czyli uprawą roślin mięsożernych. Oczywiście ten Światowy Dzień Roślin Mięsożernych jest też dobrym dniem do tego, żeby zwrócić uwagę społeczeństwa na problemy ochrony roślin w środowisku naturalnym. Przekształcanie środowisk naturalnych jest obecnie bardzo intensywne, w związku z czym taki dzień będzie bardzo dobrym dniem do tego, aby zwrócić uwagę na przekształcenia środowiska i zagrożenia roślin mięsożernych. Życzę wszystkim szczęśliwego Światowego Dnia Roślin Mięsożernych. Hello everyone, happy World Carnivorous Plant Day to all of you. I am Jeremiah Harris from Colorado in the USA. My favorite fact about carnivorous plants is how they can produce these incredible pitchers that have amazing teeth that go down into the pitcher and so far nobody is really sure why. Spectacular. Hi, I'm Bruce Lee of Lee's Botanical. Ah, happy World Carnivorous Plant Day. Uh, the question was asked me, what do you like most about carnivorous plants? It's the insane hobby. But you can't grow just one, because once you have one, you need two, three, four, and 55 years later, you got a whole jungle of them. Good growing. G'day, and happy World Carnivorous Plant Day. Greg Burke here, and my favorite thing about carnivorous plants is the incredible diversity that we find, as well as the trapping mechanisms that they use and the various other animals that they employ to assist them to get the nutrients they need to survive and thrive in these nutrient poor environments. Happy World Carnival Wednesday Day everyone. I'm Daniel from Indonesia. Apa kabar? I'm interested in carnivorous plants because of their unique way to find their food and also their shape and coloration. Thank you. Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day. This is Billy Pinnix from Eureka, California. My favorite fun fact about carnivorous plants are the downward pointing hairs that trap insects inside the pitchers. Hey guys, it's Brad from Brad's Greenhouse on YouTube. I just wanted to wish you guys a happy carnivorous plants day. And here in the greenhouse, I was just looking around. Some of the things I like about carnivorous plants is there's something for everyone from great big stuff like Rob Cantlia here to little tiny plants like Utricularia that can grow on your windowsill. There's just something for everyone and I definitely encourage you to go and find another carnivorous plant today. Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day from the Amoeba Sisters. Our favorite thing about carnivorous plants is 
Okay, it's hard to pick just one thing, but we think it's fascinating how they can utilize enzymes to help digest insects. Some of these enzymes are chitinases, which break down the chitin exoskeleton of insects. Hi guys, happy World Carnivorous Plant Day from the North Carolina Botanical Gardens in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. One of my favorite facts here in North Carolina is that we've got really poor soils in our coastal area and that brings to life a bunch of different types of pitcher plants. So all these pitcher plants here that you see in front of me are all native to North Carolina and what's cool is they're blooming. You can see these really cool flower-like structures and they're held really far away from the actual pitchers down below. That way bumblebees and other pollinators can reach them. So very cool. I'm Drew Martinez from Carnivoro, and the thing that I find most fascinating about carnivorous plants is the way that they're able to adapt to their environments. Some of their adaptations we don't even understand, like this Nepenthes edrisiana here. Why does it have these fangs? Hi guys, my name is Matze from Green Jaws in Germany, and I wish you a happy World Carnivorous Plants Day. And my favorite carnivorous plant is Nepenthes villosa, since I saw it the first time in 2010 on Mount Kinabalu in Borneo. What is yours? See you soon and happy growing! Hey, happy carnivorous plant day, you cardi heads. And as you may know, Saracenias are my big thing, breeding. The infinite range of color and forms have captured the moments I'm in. So I fish in the gene pool. <laughs> Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day! My favorite thing about carnivorous plants is that they're kind of like an oxymoron. When we think of plants, we think of these passive life forms that make their food from sunlight, and yet some plants actually use other creatures as food. It's completely against everything we think of as a plant. It's amazing that some plants have evolved the ability to use other animals as food. They eat other life forms and that is absolutely incredible and not only do some of them eat bugs and insects and other arthropods some actually can digest vertebrates so a plant eating a vertebrate that's so bizarre and that's why they're some of my favorite things alive today happy world carnivorous plant day from israel my name is Erez, and my favorite fact about nepenthes is that there are endless hybrids to be created and species to be discovered, keeping things always interesting. Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day, my name is Paolo Gonella, and my favorite thing about carnivorous plants is that they are magnificent. Happy Carnivorous Plant Day. Over here it's stated clearly our favorite thing about carnivorous plants is comparing multiple species to try and piece together their evolutionary history. Fascinating little contraptions. Sadiha, everyone. My name is B. I come from Thailand. I work with carnivorous plant. My favorite plant is pinguigula. I wish you happy those carnivorous plant day. Bye bye. Happy World of Carnivorous Plant Day. My name is Craig from Crazy Craig's Carnivorous Plants. One of my favorite things is uh, meeting every carnivorous enthusiast all over the world. Happy growing, CCCP. Thank you. Hi, this is Danielle Dufault from Animal Logic, and I want to say Happy World Carnivorous Plants Day. My favorite thing about carnivorous plants is just how incredibly adaptable they are. These are plants that have evolved in under totally inhospitable conditions. Uh, for plants to grow, but they've evolved specialized ways of absorbing the nutrients that they need, and uh, they're making their way in the world their own way. And I appreciate that. Hats off to you, carnivorous plants. Hi from Kew Gardens. My name is Janika, and my favorite thing about carnivorous plants are their leaf modifications that enable them to capture the nutrients that they need even in inhospitable environments. Happy World Carnivorous Plants Day! My name is Barry Rice, scientist. And the reason I think that carnivorous plants are so cool is because as an astrobiologist, I am fascinated to see how plants and organisms on this terrestrial planet manage to figure out ways to survive in extreme, bizarre environments. 
what might we see on other planets? Hello from Melbourne, Australia. Dan salamat hari tumbuhan carnivore sedunia. I'm Alistair Robinson, and my favourite fact about CPs relates to Nepenthes. Did you know that physiologically, the leaf of Nepenthes is not actually the leaf? In fact, the pitcher is the true leaf, the tendril is the petiole, and the part that looks like a leaf is a modified leaf base, known as a phyllode. Woof! And if you didn't know that, now you do. Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day! A lot of people ask me, since I am the CEO of California Carnivores, which we're now in like our 32nd year, what is my favorite carnivorous plant? And to be honest with you, it's whichever one I'm looking at. I hope you have a very, very nice day and uh, grow the plants, try to save them in the wild, and enjoy them. Okay.